Hey everybody. These shiftless girls ate the last piece of uh, weather stripping I had there on the porch. I just put a new one in. Do not touch it. None of you. So I'm struggling with this stupid weather stripping on the stupid kitchen door because we weren't supposed to have this kitchen door. We were supposed to have a nice new one, but as we know, uh, yeah. So, um, I just wanted those dudes out of the house. So I halted the job half, you know, without getting everything done. Um, so I wanted, I, I'm taking some heat <laughs> on Twitter for, um, uh, chastising women. I'm so mean for, uh, simping for that, uh, Isaac, what is his name? Isaac uncooked. That uh, supposed D-trans guy who, uh, I think the girls all think he's really pretty. And um, and he, uh, yet again, is suicide baiting and then abusing his almost all-female viewer base, right? And telling them he hates them and they suck. And, like, literally, that's what he says to them. <laughs> and I see all these... I see all these tweets saying, oh, does anybody, if I knew how to get in touch with them in the real world, I would call Health and Human Services or I'd call somebody because he seems like he's in a bad way. No, he's not. He is not in a bad way. And y'all, you could say what you want. You can get all up in your umption with me. But you are wasting energy on a male who has already tried to parasite from us by walk, doing the whole women face route. I think he even did his uh, twig, and, uh, twig and berries, right? <laughs> With the whole route. Shockingly, it didn't work out. So he's back to to this D-trans status. And uh, y'all now are, you're acting kind of like the cult, right? Oh, welcome back. Oh, nothing you say can be wrong. Imagine, if you will. If a young woman detrans acted this way, what you all would say. Anyway, my point is this. You are. You are wasting time on him. He's played you once. Don't let him play. I, he, now he's played you twice, at least that I'm aware of. And I'm only aware because I get informed. <laughs> I, have, um, I get informed occasionally of his actions. And I did watch his video. I noticed he had his comment turned off. His comments turned off. Always a good sign. At where he told his audience that he hated them and they all sucked and something about his discord. I don't know. But he, again, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. And that's his pattern. And y'all keep falling for it. I wish you would stop. And um, on a wider level, I would like to say this. And and I know I, know I was, I, you know, my views on this, I've mentioned before, are evolving. Because in the beginning, uh, when... When gals started to, quote unquote, detransition, I hate using all these words because all of this is just fake bullshit, right? When, when gals stopped abusing themselves in that particular fashion, let me say it that way, by taking wrong sex hormones and admitting what sex they were, <laughs> when they stopped doing, you know, that stuff and, and I guess left the cult, I was all about welcoming them back, being very patient with them. Um, telling them to come to our spaces, you know, our lesbian spaces, all of this. And over time, and ag again, this is like Isaac, but I'm, I give women and girls much more grace because, because I care about them. <laughs> and I believe that we are capable of change. And I don't believe that about males. So I care more about them and I will make no apologies on this channel for that ever. So don't even try. I don't care what happens to Isaac. Let me say that. Or or any other dude detroon. Um, I had all this empathy for these girls. Well, I guess not empathy, sympathy, because I had never gone through it myself. But I had a lot of sympathy for them and for, you know, the brainwashing that they have been caught up in. But we've been burned by this, you know, as a community uh, on several occasions. Me, myself, I have had some, you know, run-ins with these gals. Um but, uh, and it hasn't, you know, and they, they turn on you and they'll write horrible things about people that you support in the community. 
And um, I think, and I have said this before, I think they definitely need to be doing some kind of penance before I'm willing to like open my heart. Like here's, here's how I feel about it today. Now, um, I am glad that you say you have left the cult. I'm very glad for you. I believe strongly that you need to get off the internet. I mean, you, I guess you can read, but look where that got you the first time. Don't be posting on the internet. You need to go to a therapist who know a reality based therapist who's not going to co-sign your bullshit. I believe there is a strong streak of narcissism in a lot of the troons and that goes for the women as well. I think you need to go to therapy for a long time, not six months, like a long time and do your healing. And during that time, I'm going to say, I don't want you in our spaces. I don't want you there because we never left. You left us and you need to earn our respect and trust back. You have broken the trust of women. You have said, do it to her, not to me. You might not realize that's what, we, that's what you've done, but that's what you've done. And you've especially done it to young lesbians, old ladies like me, whatever. But you have done it to your compatriots, to your peer group. And let me say further this, that, uh, sorry, somebody was calling me, um, that w girls, especially the youngs who are never troons, those are the ones that I specifically want to listen to. I want to hear what kind of pressures the cult is putting them on uh, under, like what kind of experiences they're having, how it is for them to try and date this bullshit. Um, those are the gals that I would like to hear from, that I would like our community to think about spending our energy on instead of the D-trans crowd. Um, the D-trans can build their own community. They didn't want to be in our community. They wanted to be with the other. So fine, do that. And now if you have to build your own third community, well, guess what women always did? We built our own. But I, I believe that we are not paying enough attention to the, the root of this and the young gals and what they're going through. And I think if we do that and we are um, helping them and along this journey as much as we can from where we are, uh, I think that we'll see a lot less need for D-trans in the future. Okay? So that's just something, and I... I know it might sound mean, but I see, I see, uh, I don't, I guess I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, I, I see these gals call themselves D-trans and the community falls out and they do it for males too. Like Isaac, he's a perfect example, I guess. Cause he's pretty, right? What if you need d -truned? <laughs> Where would y'all be then? Would you be there for him? Look to yourselves, ladies. Um, they're all the same inside, right? These males, they're all the same inside. But uh, I would like to see us spend energy on these never trans girls. And I see these detrans coming out and getting big platforms right away. And I don't think it's serving them or us. I think it's very dangerous for them because, you know, they just got out of a cult. I mean, maybe they got out of the cult. Maybe they are, you know, they're their body might be out in that they're not cutting on themselves anymore or taking the hormones anymore, but your head can be a long time behind where your body's at, right? Um, your thought processes are still probably really fucked up and need to be um, untwisted, untwisted. And that's a lot of work. And I think probably it should take all their time and energy. They need to look within and and think about their own journey before they can give us any kind of guidance. And I have been as guilty of this as anyone. And like I say, over time, my views on this are evolving. So just want to share that with all with you today. Um, I'm going to go back and try and finish this fucking weather stripping. So irritating. Um, 
Everybody have a great day. Bye.